everyone, this is Rachel. I'm an obstetric nurse and I'm here to discuss cervical position for the new nurse. So when you are going in to feel the cervix, usually the pelvis is tilted. What you're going to be doing is after you locate the cervix, again very important that you're touching the actual cervix, um, the cervix itself when the patient is not quite ready or in labor yet will be facing um, posterior or pretty far back, pretty high up, and um, pretty difficult to find. So as the patient progresses through labor, that cervix will come more forward. There's a middle position called mid position, and then there is something called anterior position where that cervix is now, instead of facing back towards her bottom, is now starting to come around and come forward and um, realigning itself in a position where baby can come out easier. So I'll use my fingers again. So let's say that um, the patient is about five centimeters dilated, we'll say, and you're going in to check the cervix. If you're at that opening and the cervix, if the cervix is anterior, then it's gonna be like right there, right? Very just like tilted in the position where you can go in and you can feel right where that cervix is, uh, right on top. Um, if it's at mid position, it's gonna be you go into the vagina and you are touching where you think the cervix is, but it's more um, downward, um, pointing maybe more towards her feet if she were standing, then that would be more of that mid position. Posterior position would be something that's facing more towards the back, more towards her bottom. Um, so when you go in to feel for that cervix, you're kind of having to kind of come up from the back and then you're able to feel it. Now this is going to be really high up and pretty difficult to feel on most patients. If that position changes from posterior to anterior, then that's wonderful because that's improvement. And a lot of patients that I found or have found um, don't feel as though they're making progress and really, um, if that cervix is changing position, uh, that's progress. So whether or not that they're stalling out at a two or a three in centimeters in dilation um, doesn't mean that they're not making progress. If that cervix is kind of coming down and around and coming more anterior, then that's progress. So um, that's kind of how to tell the position. The cervix itself will also uh, change in its consistency, so its thickness. When it is more posterior, that cervix is going to be kind of hard. Um, you'll definitely feel like resistance, not very squishy, pretty hard. As that um, cervix becomes more anterior, then it will be more squishy, more pliable, more movable, more stretchy. So those are a couple of differences there. Um, check out my next video. Uh, regarding effacement and then you can uh, better be equipped for when it's time to check the patient yourself. Subscribe, like my channel, and we'll see you next time.